good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. At least we know how to approach the mages and Templars now. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the order somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the Order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. Or you could stop bickering and make a decision. I agree. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. So it'll be dangerous. I've been in danger since I walked out of the Fade. If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. That does sound odd. I agree. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. What's that? We don't know what these rifts can do. That one appeared to alter the time around it. There are many mages in Redcliffe. Maybe Fiona will know what's going on. Make her have mercy. It's over. Open the gates. We spread word the Inquisition was coming. But you should know that no one here was expecting us. No one? Not even Grand Enchanter Fiona. If she was, she hasn't told anyone. We've arranged use of the tavern for the negotiations. Agents of the Inquisition, my apologies. Magister Alexius is in charge now, but hasn't yet arrived. He's expected shortly. You can speak with the former Grand Enchanter in the meantime. Welcome, Agents of the Inquisition. What has brought you to Redcliffe? Is this some sort of test? We're here because you invited us in Val Royale. You must be mistaken. I haven't been to Val Royale since before the Conclave. Well, that's very strange, because someone who looked exactly like you spoke to me in Val Royale. Exactly like me? I suppose it could be magic at work, but why would anyone... Whoever or whatever brought you here? The situation has changed. The free mages have already pledged themselves to the service of the Tevinter Imperium. An alliance with Tevinter? Do you not fear all of Thedas turning against you? Andras Tezas. I'm trying to think of a single worse thing you could have done, and I've got nothing. I understand that you are afraid, but you deserve better than slavery to Devinter. As one indentured to a Magister, 
I no longer have the authority to negotiate with you. Very well. Who is in charge now? Welcome, my friends. I apologize for not greeting you earlier. Agents of the Inquisition, allow me to introduce Magister Girion Alexius. The Southern Mages are under my command. And you are the survivor, yes? The one from the Fade? Interesting. You're quite a long way from Tevinter, Alexius. Indeed I am, though I have heard you are no Ferelden either. It seems we are both strangers here. Felix, would you send for a scribe, please? Pardon my manners. My son Felix, friends. I am not surprised you're here. Containing the breach is not a feat that many could even attempt. There is no telling how many mages would be needed for such an endeavor. Ambitious, indeed. Well, when you're fighting a massive tear in the sky, you can hardly afford to think small. There will have to be. Felix. I'm so sorry. Please forgive my clumsiness, my lady. Are you all right? I'm fine, father. Come, I'll get your powders. Please excuse me, friends. We will have to continue this another time. Fiona, I require your assistance back at the castle. I don't mean to trouble everyone. I shall send word to the Inquisition. We will conclude this business at a later date. Come to the Chantry. You are in danger. Good. You're finally here. Now help me close this, would you? that work exactly? <laughs> you don't even know, do you? You just wiggle your fingers and boom. Rift closes. Who are you? Ah, getting ahead of myself again, I see. Dorian of House Parvis, most recently of Minrathus. How do you do? Another Tevinta. Be cautious with this one. Suspicious friends you have here. Magister Alexius was once my mentor. So my assistance should be valuable, as I'm sure you can imagine. Stop talking like you're waiting for applause. Just tell me what's going on. What? There's no applause? Fine. Look, you must know there's danger. That should be obvious even without the note. Let's start with Alexius claiming the allegiance of the mage rebels out from under you. As if by magic, yes? Which is exactly right. To reach Redcliffe, before the Inquisition, Alexius distorted time itself. He arranged it so he could arrive here just after the Divine died. You catch on quick. That is fascinating, if true, and almost certainly dangerous. The rift you closed here. You saw how it twisted time around itself, sped some things up and slowed others down. Soon, there will be more like it, and they'll appear further and further away from Redcliffe. The magic Alexius is using is wildly unstable. And it's unraveling the world. I'd like more proof than magical time control. Go with it. I know what I'm talking about. I helped develop this magic. When I was still his apprentice, it was pure theory. Alexius could never get it to work. What I don't understand is why he's doing it. Ripping time to shreds just to gain a few hundred lackeys? He didn't do it for them. Took you long enough. Is he getting suspicious? No, but I shouldn't have played the illness card. I thought he'd be fussing over me all day. My father's joined a cult, 
to Vinter Supremacists. They call themselves Venatori. And I can tell you one thing. Whatever he's done for them, he's done it to get to you. All this for me? And here I didn't get Alexius anything. Send him a fruit basket. Everyone loves those. You know you're his target. Expecting the trap is the first step in turning it to your advantage. I can't stay in Redcliffe. Alexius doesn't know I'm here, and I want to keep it that way for now. But whenever you're ready to deal with him, I want to be there. I'll be in touch. Oh, and Felix, try not to get yourself killed. There are worse things than dying, Dorian. Remember how to carry your shields. You're not hiding, you're holding. Otherwise, it's useless. Blackwall? Warden Blackwall? You're not. How do you know my name? Who said- <laughs> ah! That's it. Help or get out. We're dealing with these idiots first. Conscripts, here they come! Sorry, bastards. Good work, conscripts. Even if this shouldn't have happened, they could have... Well, thieves are made, not born. Take back what they stole. Go back to your families. You saved yourselves. You're no farmer. Why do you know my name? Who are you? I know your name because I'm an agent of the Inquisition. I'm investigating whether the disappearance of Wardens has anything to do with the murder of the Divine. Maker's balls. The Wardens and the Divine. That can't... No, you're asking so you don't really know. First off, I didn't know they disappeared. But we do that, right? No more blight, job done. Wardens are the first thing forgotten. But one thing I'll tell you, no Warden killed the Divine. Our purpose isn't political. I'm not here to accuse. Not yet. I just need information. I've only found you. Where are the rest? I haven't seen any Wardens for months. I travel alone, recruiting. Not much interest because the Archdemon is a decade dead, and no need to conscript because there's no blight coming. Treaties give Wardens the right to take what we need, who we need. These idiots forced this fight, so I conscripted their victims. They had to do what I said, so I told them to stand. Next time, they won't need me. Grey Wardens can inspire, make you better than you think you are. It's been a pleasure, Warden Blackwall, but this didn't help at all. Inquisition, agent, did you say? Hold a moment. The Divine is dead and the sky is torn. Events like these, thinking we're absent is almost as bad as thinking we're involved. If you're trying to put things right, maybe you need a Warden. Maybe you need me. Warden Blackwall, the Inquisition accepts your offer. Good to hear. We both need to know what's going on. And perhaps I've been keeping to myself for too long. This Warden walks with the Inquisition. Lady Trevelyan of Ostwick, representing the Inquisition. What a pleasure to meet you, my lady. Seeing the same faces at every event becomes so tiresome. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer, or are you here for Duke Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. Some of those storytellers may have gotten carried away. But only for the best effect. The Inquisition is a ripe subject for wild tales. 
The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. I've never made any claims to holiness. What's your point? In front of all these people, you admit to being a pretentious usurper. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a woman of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lady, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? The Marquis doesn't interest me. Do whatever you like with him. Poor Marquis. Issuing challenges and hurling insults like some Ferelden dog lord. <coughs> and all dressed up in your Aunt Solange's doublet. Didn't she give you that to wear to the Grand Tourney? To think all the brave chevaliers who will be competing left for Markham this morning. And you're still here. Were you hoping to sate your damaged pride by defeating the Herald of Andraste in a public duel? Or did you think her blade could put an end to the misery of your failure? Run along, my dear. Do give my regards to your aunt. I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Montsimard, an enchantress to the Imperial Court. Your salon has certainly exceeded my expectations so far. I'm glad to keep you entertained, my dear. I wanted to meet face to face. It is important to consider one's connections carefully. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. Errol of Andraste! How much did you expend to discover me? It must have weakened the Inquisition immeasurably. I don't know who you are. You don't fool me. I'm too important for this to be an accident. My efforts will survive in victories against you elsewhere. Just say what? What is the... Ugh! Squishy one, but you heard me, right? Just say what? Rich tits always try for more than they deserve. Blah, blah, blah! Obey me. Arrow in my face. So, you followed the notes well enough. Glad to see you're... You're kind of plain, really. All that talk, and then you're just a person. I mean, it's all good, isn't it? The important thing is, you glow. You're the Herald thingy. Sure, why not? I glow. What's going on? No idea. I don't know this idiot from manners. My people just said the Inquisition should look at him. Your people? Elves? <laughs> no. People, people. Name's Sarah. This is cover. Get round it. For the reinforcements. Don't worry. Someone tipped me their equipment shed. They've got no breaches. Friends really came through with that tip. No breaches. <laughs> so, Herald of Andraste, you're a strange one. I'd like to join. Could we take a few moments for sense to reassert itself? 
Who are you people? I'm not people, but I get what you want. It's like this. I sent you a note to look for hidden stuff by my friends. The friends of Red Jenny. That's me. Well, I'm one. So is a fence in Montfort, some woman in Kirkwall. There were three in Starkhaven, brothers or something. It's just a name, yeah? It lets little people, friends, be part of something while they stick it to nobles they hate. So here, in your face, I'm Sarah. The friends of Red Jenny are sort of out there. I use them to help you. Plus arrows. The Inquisition has spies already. Can you add to these professionals? Here's how it is. You important people are up here, shoving your cods around. Blah, blah, I'll crush you. I'll crush you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crush you. <clears throat> then you've got cloaks and spy kings, like this tit. Or was he one of the little knives, all serious with his little knife? All those secrets, and what gave him up? Some houseboy who don't know shite, but knows a bad person when he sees one. So no, I'm not knifey shiv dark, all hidden. But if you don't listen down here too, you risk your breaches. Like those guards? I stole their... Look, do you need people or not? I want to get everything back to normal. Like you. All right, Sarah. I can use you and your friends. Yes! Get in good before you're too big to like. That'll keep your breaches where they should be. Plus extra breaches because I have all these... You have merchants who buy that piss, yeah? Got to be worth something. Anyway, Haven. See you there, Herald. This will be grand. Make a look at it. So much easier to ignore when it's far away. And to actually walk out of it. To be that close. It's right there. We could take a trip if you're that curious. I'm going to have to decline. At least until I learn more about it. The Breach, the Divine's death, the Wardens. It doesn't make sense. There's so much we don't know. Your experience with the Wardens will certainly be useful. Mostly the treaties, I expect. Old parchments you're welcome to. What about you? How do you fit into all this? I just want to help stop the war. Try to put things back in order. A worthy goal, one I'm happy to support. For me, I'll be satisfied so long as we find the bastards that killed the Divine. They owe us some answers. So, this is it, huh? Oh no, it's fine, yeah? It's just, I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if you were a man, right? Wasted. Anyway, stopping wars should earn more sovereigns than this. Need things back to normal for coins to be flowing again. Another reason the Templars and Mages need to be sat down. It's not just a war between those two. Well, sure, the sky has a hole in it. But I can't put an arrow in that. Well, I have. Doesn't come down. That's weird. And that's the point, right? It's weird and right there, but they still want to punch each other. They're too busy to look up where the real questions are. That's why we're here. To help guide everyone back from the brink. The religious ones tell you that. That's important, right? But don't make it all about that. Seems like believing too hard is what got everyone here. And here is stupid and smells of horse. Really, what everyone needs is to get everything back to normal and proper and profitable. Sound good to you, all touched Lady Herald? I'm committed to putting an end to this crisis. Whatever it takes. It's why I'm here, yeah? This is where it gets done, whatever it is. Can't do a bloody thing with everyone pissing themselves. Stupid everyone. I met an elven mage earlier. Solus, I believe he was called. I admit I was surprised. I didn't expect to find mages among the Inquisition. Tell me, why were you at the Divine Conclave? The war benefits no one. It must end. An order must be restored. If only the rebels saw things so clearly. Justinia's death has shattered the balance of power in Thedas. If it is not restored quickly, countless lives will be lost. Mages, Templars, innocent people of all kinds now look to the Inquisition to decide their fate. I'll try not to let them down. Failure is a luxury we cannot afford, my dear. For almost a thousand years, the world believed it was in the hands of the Maker. And now many believe you are the agent of his will. Whatever the truth is, that belief gives you power. Nobody should claim to know the will of the Maker. Not me and not the Chantry. Perhaps nobody should. But if no one leads the way, many will be left behind in darkness. I've stolen enough of your time, my dear. Don't let me keep you. 